Gonna be using the Groza here. This is kind of the perfect weapon for this map because it acts kind of like an SMG, but also has the AR statistics. I'm also confused because I have the whole lobby muted and I'm somehow still hearing people. <laughs> but yeah, basically all you need to do on this thing is limit the recoil. And if you limit the recoil, you should find success with not only aggressive, but longer range fights. So it's kind of the whole purpose of the Groza. And the attachments on it are a lot different than some of the other ones in the game. I hear one on my left. I hear one on my right. I hear them all over the place. There he is. As I say, I definitely heard one. All right. Probably got to flip around here. They're probably going to be over here. Oh, teammate just scared the living crap out of me. I just saw a ghost face over here. Thanks for coming, Murto. Now, what are the chances they spawned over? Well, I'm getting my answer. Dude, this is cruising, cruising. This game is cruising. Kind of uncomfortably fast, to be honest. I like this map and I like playing it, but this seems to be a common thing. Okay, you know what? I'm, I'm in it. It's the first time I've really run into a melee in a while, so I can't be too, too mad. Frustrated as always, though, because dying to a knifer has got to be the most frustrating thing because you know there's nothing you can do about it. Uh, up to 14 kills, which means we have exactly 50% of them. But I need more than 50%. I want to get... I don't know. How many kills do I want? I want at least 55 There's Mr. Knifer. Okay. I somehow found a way to more or less blow myself up. They're all congregating here. They want to keep going up there, so I'm trying to lock this area down. I'm going to assume they're spawning over here somewhere. That's a yes. That was a yes. I'm up to 30 of 55, so I'm on pace for 55 right now. That means I got to hit every kill. Where'd you go? I saw you run this way. Cruise. Okay, I think they're up here. I'm gonna hit that. Okay. Um, what are the chances are in here? I hear one. Okay. Uh, I've definitely faltered from pace, but 50 is still in the cards. 50 is 100% still in the cards here. Oh, brother. All right. Well, I, I at least spawn close. I can get my revenge on that guy.
Where are they gonna be? He's in a corner and I'm upset. Are you kidding me? That's how I'm dying. That's, I'm probably gonna miss now. Straight up. I think this thing saves me here. Yep, it does. Okay. Ow. All right, so I'm three. I don't know if I'm going to get this unless I get here quick. We're running air patrol. You made that look I got the 50 bomb, so I'll take it. But man, corner campers, brother, corner campers. That's my downfall. You guys are truly witnessing why I only really play hardpoint. Of all the game modes, hardpoint has the least amount of campers in my opinion because you have to be around the objective to win. You don't necessarily have to play it, but you need to be positioned around it in order to win the game. TDM, I find that there's so many of those corner campers. That's just one example of many that I run into because at the end of the day, it's all about getting kills. So I wish I could play objective game modes, domination or hard point in this game, but the lobbies just seem to be too sporadic to where I'm only getting thrown into games in session, or there's just not enough variety of players that I've jumped into domination games and there's only like eight players in the game. So I'm kind of stuck playing TDM, which is unfortunate. But at the end of the day, I, I still have fun on this game. Just the corner campers, stop it, please. Let's get through these attachments here. For our first one, you're going to want the Contour M2 Barrel to increase the overall mobility and make it more SMG-like while still maintaining the AR statistics. We are losing damage range here, but we still have a 48-meter damage range. Down here to an underbarrel, the Spetsnaz Grip that's going to take care of all of your recoil control, 15% to the vertical, 25% to that horizontal. Magazine, I'm using the 50-round drum. You can go with the 40. You go with the 50-round fast mag if you want. It is just my preference there. And for the handle, the Gru Elastic Wrap for aim down sight speed at 30%, flinch resistance, and of course, that ability to drop shot. And our final attachment is the KGB Pad, probably the most important attachment of the build here because it's going to give you a 50% increase there to that sprint to fire speed, along with a 40% additional increase to the aim walking speed between this and that barrel you are an absolute monster when it comes to aggressive play so i'm going to give you guys all the attachments on the screen here so if you guys want to pause and use all these attachments on the groza now's the time to copy all these down thank you guys so much for watching make sure you guys hit the like and subscribe button if you have not already i'll see you guys in the next one